Chang'e is an ancient capital of more than ten dynasties in Chinese history, today known as Xian. Chang'e means perpetual peace in classical Chinese. During the short-lived Xin dynasty, the city was renamed Constant Peace, yet after its fall in AD 23, the old name was restored. By the time of the Ming Dynasty, the name was again changed to Xian, meaning Western Peace, which has remained its name to the present day. Chang'e had been settled since the Neolithic times, during which the Yangshao culture established in Banpo in the city's suburb. Also in the northern vicinity of the modern Xian, the tumulus ruler Qin Shi Huang of Qin Dynasty held his imperial court and constructed his massive mausoleum guarded by the famed Terracotta Army. From its capital at Zhanyang, the Qin dynasty ruled a larger area than either of the preceding dynasties. The imperial city of Chang'e during the Han dynasty was located in northwest of today's Xian. During the Tang dynasty, the area to be known as Chang'e included the area inside the Ming Xian fortification plus some small areas to its east and west and a major part of its southern suburbs. The Tang Chang'e hence was eight times the size of the Ming Xian, which was reconstructed upon the premise of the former imperial quarter of the Suai and Tang city. During its heyday, Chang'e was one of the largest and most populous cities in the world. Around AD 750, Chang'e was called a million people's city in Chinese records, while modern estimates put it at around 800,000 minus 1 million within city walls. According to the census in 742 recorded in the New Book of Tang, 362,921 families with 1,960,188 persons were counted in Jingzhaofu, the metropolitan area including small cities in the vicinity. Strategic and Economic Importance of Ancient Chang'e The strategic and economic importance of ancient Chang'e was mainly due to its central position. The roads leading to Gansu, Sichuan, Henan, Hubei and Shanxi all converged here. The mountainous country surrounding the Wei River Basin led to the existence of only two practicable roads through to the south and two through mountainous Gansu to the west, forming the beginning of the ancient silk routes. Chinese itineraries gave the following distances. Chang'e to Chengdu, 2,318 Tang'e Ali. Chang'e to Lanzhou, 1180 Tang'e Ali. Chang'e to Hami, 4,518 Tang'e Ali. Chang'e to Yining, 8,087 Tang'e Ali. Chang'e to Yarkand, 9,329 Tang'e Ali. Chang'e to Beijing, 1645 Tang'e Ali. Han period. The site of the Han capital was located 3 kilometers northwest of modern Xian. As the capital of the Western Han, it was the political, economic and cultural center of China. It was also the eastern terminus of the Silk Road and a cosmopolitan metropolis. It was a consumer city, a city whose existence was not primarily predicated upon manufacturing and trade, but rather boasted such a large population because of its role as the political and military center of China. By 02 AD, the population was 246,200 in 80,000 households. This population consisted mostly of the scholar gentry class whose education was being sponsored by their wealthy aristocratic families. In addition to these civil servants was a larger underclass to serve them. Initially, Emperor Liu Bang decided to build his capital at the center of the sun, which according to Chinese geography was in modern Luoyang. This location was site of the holy city's Chengzhou, home of the last Zhe emperors. The magical significance of this location was believed to ensure a long-lasting dynasty like the Zhou, whom the Han sought to emulate. However, in practice the strategic military value of a capital located in the Wei Valley became the deciding factor for locating the new capital. To this end, it is recorded c. 200 BC he forcibly relocated thousands of clans in the military aristocracy to this region. The purpose was twofold. 
First, it kept all potential rivals close to the new emperor, and second, it allowed him to redirect their energy toward defending the capital from invasion by the nearby Zhong Yu. His advisor Lu Jing described this plan as weakening the route while strengthening the branch. After the necessary political structure was set up, the area of the capital was divided into three prefectures and construction began. At its founding in 195 BC, the population of Chang'an was 146,000. During the reign of Emperor Wu of Han, the diplomat Zhang Qian was dispatched westward into Central Asia. Since then, Chang'an city became the Asian gateway to Europe as the point of departure of the famous Silk Road. After the Western Han period, the Eastern Han government settled in Luoyang as the new capital. Chang'an was therefore also sometimes referred to as the Western capital or Zijing in some Han dynasty texts. In 190 AD during late Eastern Han, the court was seized and relocated back to Chang'an by the notorious Prime Minister Dong Zhuo. As it was a strategically superior site against the mounting insurgency formed against him, although after Dong's death the capital was moved back to Luoyang. By this time, many dynasties came to regard Chang'an as the symbolic site of supreme power and governance. On 4 October 23 AD, Chang'an was captured and sacked during a peasant rebellion. The emperor, Wang Mang was killed and decapitated by the rebels two days later. City walls The 25.7 km long city wall was initially 3.5 meters wide at the base tapering upward 8 meters for a top width of 2 meters. Beyond this wall, a 6.13 meters wide moat with a depth of 4.62 meters was spanned by 13.86 meters long stone bridges. The wall was later expanded to 12 to 16 meters at base and 12 meters high. The moat was expanded to 8 meters wide and 3 meters deep. The expansion of the wall was likely a solution to flooding from the Wei River. The entire city was sited below the 400 meters contour line which the Tang Dynasty used to mark the edge of the floodplain. Twelve gates with three gateways each per the ritual formulas of Zhou Dynasty urban planning pierced the wall. These gates were distributed three per aside and from the mate 45 meters wide main avenues extended into the city. These avenues were also divided into three lanes aligned with the three gateways of each gate. The lanes were separated by median strips planted with pine, elm, and scholar trees. That Chengman Avenue was an exception with a width of 82 meters and no medians. Four of the gates opened directly into the palaces. City structure The overall form of the city was an irregular rectangle. The eight avenues divided the city into nine districts. These nine main districts were subdivided into 160 walled 1 times 1 Li wards. About 50 to 100 families lived in each ward. Historically, Chang'e grew in four phases. The first from 200-195 BC when the palaces were built, the second 195-180 BC when the outer city walls were built, the third between 141-87 BC with her peak at 100 BC, and the fourth from 01 BC to 24 AD when it was destroyed. The Shanpingman Gate was the main gate between the city and suburbs. The district north of the Vi Yang Palace was the most exclusive. The main market, called the Nine Markets, was the eastern economic terminus of the Silk Road. Access to the market was from the northeast and northwest gates, which were the most heavily used by the common people. The former connect with a bridge over the Wei River to the northern suburbs and the latter connected with the rest of China to the east. An intricate network of underground passages connected the imperial harem with other palaces and the city. These passages were controlled by underground gatehouses and their existence was unknown. 
first phase in 200 BC after marking the boundaries of the three prefectures, which comprised the metropolitan region of Zhanyang. Liu Bang appointed Xia He to design and build the new capital. He chose to site the city on ruins of the Qin Dynasty Apex Temple. This old Qin palace was meant to be the earthly mirror of Polaris, the apex star, where the heavenly emperor resided. This site thus represented the center of the earth lying under the center of heaven with an axis mundi running upward from the imperial throne to its heavenly counterpart. The ruins were greatly expanded to seven times seven li in size and renamed Eternal Joy Palace. Two years later, a new palace called Endless Palace was constructed five times seven li. Prime Minister Seo he convinced Liu Bang that both the excessive size and multiplicity of palaces was necessary to secure his rule by creating the spectacle of power. Second phase in 195 BC, his son, Emperor Hui of Han began the construction of the walls of Chang'e and finished them in September 191 BC. The grid north of the palaces was built at this time with a two degrees difference in alignment to the grid of the palaces. The city remained quite static after this expansion. Third phase Wu Ti began a third phase of construction which peaked on 100 BC with the construction of many new palaces. He also added the nine temples complex south of the city, and built the park. In 120 BC, Shanglin Park, which had been used for agriculture by the common people since Liu Bang was sealed off, was turned into an imperial park again. In the center of the park was a recreation of the three fairy islands in Kunming Lake. Palace's Eternal Joy Palace also called the East Palace. It was built atop the ruins of Qin Dynasty Apex Temple. After Liu Bang it was used as the residence of the Empress Regent. The 10,000 meters wall surrounded a square 6 square kilometers complex. Important halls of the palace included Linhua Hall, Changxin Hall, Changqiu Hall, Yongshao Hall, Shengxian Hall, Yongchang Hall, and the Bell Room. Endless Palace also known as the West Palace the official center of government from Emperor Huidi onwards. The palace was a walled rectangle 2,250 times 2,150 meters enclosing a 5 square kilometers building complex of 40 halls. There were four gates in the wall facing a cardinal direction. The east gate was used only by nobility and the north one only by commoners. The palace was sited along the highest portion of the ridgeline on which Chang'an was built. In fact the front hall at the center of the palace was built atop the exact highest point of the ridge. The foundation terrace of this massive building is 350 times 200 times 15 meters. Other important halls are Shanxi Hall, Wenxi Hall, Qinglang Hall, Qiling Hall, Jinhua Hall, and Chengming Hall. Used by seven dynasties this palace has become the most famous in Chinese history. Gui Palace A ceremonial center built in 100 BC, Mingguang Palace built as a guest house in 100 BC, Hilltop Palace, Jiajiang Palace built in 104 BC in Shanglin Park. It was a rectangle 20 times 30 li with a tower 46 meters high. The name means Palace of Establishing Eternal Rules. Boliang Terrace, 